So, hi team, good morning. Now I'm going to share my screen and give, give you all a brief synopsis of what is going to be uh, on our sessions coming days. Like in this complete 45 days would be our session and uh, what are the contents or topics which we will be covering. So yeah, uh, this is all I'll be explaining you. You can have a glance at it. Uh, so let me share my screen now. So yes, uh, we are actually uh, in this session, we are going to learn about Salesforce tool as well as the testing, manual testing. So after this, like uh, after our session, you will be able to apply for the manual testing roles as well as a Salesforce QA roles. So Salesforce, what does a Salesforce QA roles mean? So you will be able to perform the manual validations on the Salesforce tool. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, first of all, let us know what is about the Salesforce. So Salesforce is a leading CRM platform which unites sales, marketing, IT, commerce, and services. So in this, uh, like CRM means customer relationship management platform. So this is a platform where we can unite all the departments uh, uh, like the sales cloud, I mean, like the sales department, marketing, services, commerce, IT. So these are all uh, different types of uh, departments or clouds we can say in a single platform we can uh, link them so which would be easier for us to deal with our uh, future customers okay so like um, it is founded in 1999 by Mark Benioff and Parker Harris in San Francisco California US so uh, you can see like it is 23 years up to now like the from the year it is founded according to the chronology if we go so salesforce will be releasing three versions every year so like uh, it would be winter spring and summer so now current version which is there is 23 winter which we call in salesforce uh like but the companies generally might be using the 22 summer the previous versions they might not have upgraded so generally the salesforce will be using uh will be releasing three versions every year every year so you can trust salesforce because uh for every version it will be enhancing its security standards okay which is the basic quality of the salesforce architecture so uh clear team are you good about this points Yes, yes. So next is the Einstein AI. So I just I wrote a, a brief about this. So what is the Einstein AI is the, it is an analytics bot which is released by the Salesforce organization itself. This bot helps us to analyze the different business processes. So uh, like it helps us in the decision making. So it can give us the suggestions like what how to go ahead, whether to accept this opportunity or not. So Salesforce has developed this Einstein AI and the, coming to the Salesforce up to uh, like 2017 or so, like there were two modes, classic, uh, I mean, classic mode is the one, which is the uh, basic version of the Salesforce, you can say, but uh, lightning is the second yeah. mode where we can uh, switch between these two modes in the Salesforce. Like you can say, classic uh, mode in the classic mode all will be in the old uh, guidelines like uh, the, the uh, ui will not be so good actually but uh, in coming to the lightning we can easily make them uh, i mean we can easily map them to the mobile also so yep so the, just a brief about that uh, there are two modes in the salesforce classic and lightning Okay, and now most of the organizations are switching to the lightning. So we will be also mostly uh, focusing our uh, uh, sessions on the lightning only. 
okay but no problem if you want to learn the classic we are uh, here and so there are uh, in salesforce uh, see what i meant to say if suppose in a mobile phone if you want to download an app where do you go generally play store play store exactly even in salesforce we have a such a place called as a app exchange so in app exchange we will be finding all the apps where we can uh, download a package and install these apps into our system okay so there is nothing difference between the app exchange and play store but yes uh, in uh, the apps which are released by different organization which uh, have the approval of the salesforce will be found in the app exchange where we can download them uh, to our system yeah to our org so in here there are two types of apps already uh, so app, apps are in the sense applications so in this salesforce platform we can have the standard applications and custom applications again here so what is a standard application and what is a custom application i mean standard apps and custom apps in generally we what we call so standard apps are the apps are already released by the salesforce already pre given for us by the salesforce example sales cloud uh, the sales app it is also called as the sales cloud so sales cloud uh marketing cloud service cloud these are some uh, apps already which are designed and given for us by the salesforce so what are custom apps then see for every organization or any project any client any customer we want to generally the software engineers or the team we will be developing the app which are custom apps so already not given by the salesforce but we can also create them in the salesforce they are called as the customers basic difference so what is a standard app and what is a custom app standard apps are already given by the salesforce whereas custom apps are created by the users who use the salesforce okay so clear thing clear yeah so let me uh, go into the next uh, uh, next topic that is the contents so what we are about to in our uh, this 45 days of session or 30 days of salesforce session okay i'm covering today the salesforce topics so let me go there so these are the contents uh, so which uh, i mean the topics which we are going to cover in the in our sessions so first is the cloud computing so actually what is a cloud computing we are going to uh, learn about that and before force.com platform so before this sales uh, force have come into the picture i mean the salesforce organization it is a uh, pass uh, service so which you will be knowing after going through our session so cloud computing we have different types of services like as pass and saas so in the force.com platform we can see like what is it how it was before coming into the software as a service as a platform as a service force.com how what what it it has done and we will be learning about the salesforce architecture so also crm overview first of all what is a crm and how we will be implementing them so it's just a overview i'm going to give them give and next is the salesforce coming to the basic this fourth from fourth topic we will be really starting the salesforce actually so uh, so what is the salesforce organization or uh, like we we can able to create a, a organization or org we generally call in our uh, system actually which is only related to our users so you can say org is an entity of the individuals so uh, what we will be creating and uh, how many additions are there suppose you are a new uh, user or new customer company you want to uh, take or purchase a license from the salesforce so what are the different types of additions available we are going to learn and sandbox so why is the sandbox used and how many types of sandbox are there uh, how many types of sandbox uh, salesforce provides us so yes we are going to learn about that too uh, yes next is the we are directly again going to the basic topic of the salesforce so what are the objects and fields and how do we create of objects and fields so up to here there would be the theory team and from objects we are going to start the practical sessions also so i'm going to show you 
how to create the object in the tools, how to create the fields. And while creating field, there are nearly some 25 or 21 types of data types. I'm going to show each uh, data type, like how do we create uh, fields using this data type, like a currency field or a checkbox or etc. So yes, the next topic would be the relationships. So I'm going to explain you uh, what is a relationship in Salesforce, like between fields, a field to field, an object to object, we can establish the relationship. So how many types of relationships? There are five types. So I'm going to explain you all the five. Yes, and next is the sales cloud and service cloud. So what is the process which is happening in the sales cloud? And what about the service cloud? I'm going to explain about uh, these two also. So this, the, up to here, this forms the basic of the Salesforce, okay? Now the next comes the user management. So how to create a user, how to deactivate a user or how to freeze a user, I'm going to explain you. And so profiles, Profiles are the thing. So when uh, any user enters an organization, he'll be given a profile. So whatever we can do, how to create a profile and what are the permissions we can give to a profile, etc. We are going to learn in our coming uh, days of the session. So, yep. And the permission sets, field level. So there are uh, like permission sets, as I said to you, for the profiles and how, do I, how I give you the permissions like to access the records like i can explain you this topic so we are going to focus on this topic so coming to the security so we have the four levels of security field level security object level security organization level security and record level security so we are going to learn about these four levels of security uh, in our coming sessions so as a Salesforce admin, like we need to establish the security in our organization, like the passwords or et cetera. It, it comes under the organization level of security example I'm seeing. Okay. So page layouts. And how do you design a page layout? Like the UI customization, we can design them. So which we are going to deal with this topic also. So field dependency is one of the topic. So where, uh, I can explain you like oh, how the field uh, will be dependent. There will there will be two fields, the dependent field and controlling field. So how to establish them. And yes, the record type, public groups, queues and roll up summary fields. So these are the general topics which will be coming in the sales force. So record types are the example, just small example I want to say is the uh, for page layout and record types are somewhat interdependent. So if you want to create a record type, uh, I mean, example, you might not know now. So generally, as a, you're going to an interview, for example, I'm saying you're going to an interview. So generally, they ask the question, are you a fresher? I mean, are you a graduate or an experienced individual? If you are experienced, the level of asking questions are, uh, they might be asking you for the details of your current organization, current package, etc. But if you are a graduate, they might be asking you, so what's your percentage? How, when is your graduated year? So the questions varies. So which we can establish these uh, differences for in the same app or in the same page using the record type option. And public groups are the one, how do we create a list of users into a single group, a public group? So how do we create in the Salesforce? We can learn about that. And queues, queues are the person, uh, I mean, Queues are the things in Salesforce. We can create the queues. Uh, so suppose for any exam, mainly these queues will be useful in the service cloud. So when any customer arises an issue, so it will directly, that ticket will go to the queues. So who will select, which queue will select that we can learn. So example, if I want to explain you about the queues. So whenever you join an organization, uh, you want to get an, a laptop or an ID card. So getting a laptop goes to the network queue, network team queue. So in that queue, I'll be including all the persons from the IT department. And getting the ID card goes to the admin team. So the admin team will generally gives you the ID card. So that uh, ticket goes to the admin queue. So different types of users, I can uh, make the queues. So how do you make that in Salesforce? So we can we are about to learn that, and roll up summary fields. 
so uh, this is the uh, some uh, we can see like uh, in a field so there will be maximum minimum counts so what is the total summary fields not only in the field if we have established an relationship with the other field so what what is the total count on that field also we can learn using the roll up summary field this there comes the uh, validation rules so in salesforce we can establish some rules example suppose anyone is taking a bank account so i want to uh, mainly see whose account bank balance is more than 10 lakhs like that if i can establish a validation rule so that customer will be top of that uh, top of the all the customers like that we can establish the some of the validation rules uh, so if that customers make any transactions which we want to see for any customer if they make the transaction above five lakhs so there should be a email trigger so like such kind of validation rules we can establish i'm just saying an example so any any validation rule we can create in the salesforce and how do we create that we are going to see in our future uh, classes and now here comes the uh, three topics which is about the automation uh, so salesforce all provides the automation you know, in build so workflows approval process and process builder these three are the automation uh, rules which are there in the salesforce so using the workflow like we can create a field updation or an e send an email uh, so create a task so it, like that we can create so I'm just saying example. So there is a much about process builder. If workflow can create a, uh, four, four automation topics we can create using the process builder, we can uh, complete the eight actions using process builder. So that's, there is a difference. So how to use them, we are going to learn in our sessions. And next comes the reports and dashboards. So any organization and anywhere to need to track the data is very, very much important. And Salesforce has given us an uh, inbuilt tool for reports and dashboards. How do, how do we create the reports? So in which object we are using uh, and what are the users? Who is the account owner? So uh, what are the basic types of uh, reports which are given by Salesforce? There are four types. So we are going to learn about them. And data loader, data import wizard. These two are the data management tools. Like you can see data load and data import. You can understand the meaning. So we can uh, import the data from uh, the other CSV files. Suppose if you if I want to uh, make 50 records. Example, I got an Excel sheet in a CSV file. So I want uh, for a 50 records are there in that 50 details. So how do I enter into Salesforce? I'll not be sitting and entering every record. So using the data import wizard, I can import them in, into the Salesforce. And using the data loader, we can also export them uh, outside from the Salesforce to an Excel sheet. So how do we use that? We are going to learn in our sessions. And next comes the workbench. So workbench is also a Salesforce tool. So this tool is useful for getting us the queries. Uh, so we can write a query and the data will be displayed actually. So yes, and here I want to specify one small point. In this complete session, here completes our content. So in this 30 days, we are going to cover these all topics. And in this complete session, so we are uh, going to, it is a no code, uh, sessions so i'm not going to write any code so i'm not going to uh i mean generally salesforce is a no code uh tool so we uh in mainly in the salesforce qa i'm not going to go ahead with the uh, writing any code so we are just learning the tool okay so am i clear team clear ma'am. yes so yeah, Sudhir, you are there. So that's complete my introduction. Okay, so let me stop the recording. Yeah, is there only admin bot? Yeah.